guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a haul for you. Um, are you even surprised in the slightest? This is um, a haul that is of stuff that have been sent to me and also stuff that I've bought myself. So basically, um, I'm just going to get straight in it with the big things. So the first one is my bibs. I'm not even sure if that's how you say that, but bibs is how I'm going to go with it. Um, it's my UV gel nail lamp with um, bulbs and buffer. I got this off eBay and I looked around for ages for one. That one was, I think it was like £40 in the Argos, but I looked around and shopped about so that I've got the best value for my money. And that's one that I got. I've not tried it yet, so it might might be shit but <laughs> the next thing is another big box and it's my um, magnetone pulser and this was sent to me like you can tell I've got dust all over it this was sent to me ages and it's just been hiding in the bottom of my wardrobe when this was sent to me is when god it was sent to me five months ago because it was sent just before or just after I got back it was just after I got back from Leeds with Blake so like when we got back together because none of you know but we did break up before um but we got back together about five months ago and um, I had a reaction to get my brows done so I couldn't use this and then since then I've had like little reactions and I just completely forgot about it so I am thinking about doing a video of me using this every single night and seeing what difference it makes if it does make a difference so speaking of Blake he's recently bought me and trekked me to the new Beyonce perfume that's came out the Heat One in Wild Orchard I will be having a blog post of this with pictures coming up he got me, I think this is the largest bottle, yeah got me the 100 milliliters. I'm going to spray some on oh smells so good i've got every single one of these like these style of these perfumes now the only one that i've not had is the orange one and that's just because it reminds me of my friend laura and i think that's like her scent and that's not for me to get if that makes sense it's beautiful it's such a nice scent but it's her so i'll keep it to her <laughs> speaking of perfumes i recently was sent two perfumes from um, The Scent City which is a website that has just recently launched but this is not one for me and one for Blake I've got a video on it so I'll leave it below and it'll show you up all but this one is mine and um, it's an Alison Peter one called Cherry Cherry and it just comes off like this I'm going for some of this one as well oh, and this smells absolutely beautiful so I'll leave the link for The Scent City down below as well if you want to check it out so on the topic of things that have been sent to me, I've received some products from Free From Frizz and when I actually looked up to see how much the stuff works, I thought I really like this. Um, I'm going to see how much it is. It's actually, you can get it in boots and it's like 5 99 I'll show you what I've got. Um, but it's 5 99 and this is the shampoo. Um, it's um, for blowout shampoo, it's basically to get rid of frizz, hence the name. Um, it's for thick slash coarse hair and it's in the shade Mango and it smells oh unbelievable so i got the shampoo and i also got the conditioner and i also got the um free from frizz six week blowout up to six weeks frizz free hair and it's got a pre cleanser a active keratin treatment in it a frizz detangling comb and some gloves so the next product is just a um, typical repurchase of mine. It's the Batiste Light and Blonde Dry Shampoo. While I was on the topic of hair, in one of my glossy boxes, I got the Tony and Guy Glamour Volume Plumping Whip. Another one that I got in my glossy box, it is the um, Magnifibers Mascara, which is basically a mascara that has loads of microfibers inside it, um, but I also have not tried that out yet either. I made a purchase um, on all beauty and um, Blake told me about it and it's like quite a discounted um, website so the first thing I got is the rapid lash um, eyelash enhancing serum I've only used this um, I think it's twice that I've used this and I mean like the difference I've seen straight away from two goals um, is unbelievable so I'm going to start using this more often and that was reduced from £42 to £22 so that was like ridiculous. The other thing that I've got is the Blender Cleanser Solid, um, basically like a bar soap for your makeup brushes. And this is by um, Beauty Blender and I haven't actually used this yet, but oh, it smells so good. And I've been using um, makeup sponges recently, so I thought it'd be good to use that with so i've been buying stuff off ebay that recently came with these big pack of um false eyelashes 
and they just look like this and this was only a pound they have like so many different styles to try out i also got two more um buffing kind of brushes just because um i use mine so much so i got this one here and these both cost a pound each and then this one here which is more of like a round top one and the other one's more of a flat top one the other thing that i got is these um moisturizing socks from wilkinson's my mum actually bought me these and um, i just want these so i can put foot lotions inside because i've been using a lot of foot scrub recently and the shower um so i want to put some foot cream inside and then leave them on and uh, another one that i bought i'm oh, sorry i never bought i got it in a glossy box is the only way to apply self tan the original tanning mitt by velvo tan it's just basically a tanning mitt another product from wilkinson is just this little thing and um, i think it was 150 but once again my mum bought me it because she's a doll and it's just basically like a little mixing bowl a brush and then a scoop and what this basically is is for face masks so recently Blake's mum's gave me the L'Oreal Paris New Nude Musique Blur Cream in the shade Light to Medium Skin. Um, she didn't really like this so she asked me if I wanted it because she knows like, I'm obsessed with makeup. Um, so I thought that was quite nice of her. So quite a while back I bought some makeup off somebody's blog and one of the things that I got was this Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth cleanser and it's brand new it hasn't been opened it's still got the um, little tabby on it and it also came with a muslin um, cloth. So I haven't had a chance to use this yet. I might use this um, tonight actually to take my makeup off. In the blog post I also got a MAC blusher and this is in the shade Royal um, Sunset and it's a satin blusher and she like I don't think she'd ever used it. I think it was brand new as well. It had no like um, fingerprints on it and it's sort of like the original pattern that it, came, that it comes with and this looks like this. I absolutely love this. It's so nice. Um, another blusher that I also got was the Sleek um, blusher from the Aqua... Oops, collection in the shade mirrored pink if i can open it which just looks like this and it's absolutely stunning so whilst i'm on the topic of blushes i also got the cream blush number one from bourgeois and i got this in one of my boxes as well i don't know if it was glossy box or if it was something else but i got it in one of them kind of um like subscription boxes in the shade nude velvet and i've had a feel of it but i have not actually tried it out also from glossy box it's this highlighter this cashmere highlighter which just looks like this it's absolutely stunning another purchase from my glossy box um is the mango mandarin figs and rouge hand cream i might put some of this on now actually another one that came i think it was in a beauty box but i don't it wasn't glossy box i can't remember what when i got it off but i got the ill mask lipstick which you'll have seen um i think it was in a previous video oh i did it I've done a makeup look with this. I'll put it down below, but I have done a makeup look with this. Um, and this is in the shade Cherub, and it just looks like this. I absolutely love this. Like I said in the video, I wouldn't have picked this colour myself, so it's nice that I got that colour into like a pinky colour, which is what I was originally wanting. So a new mascara that I um, got in one of my boxes was the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. I'm not going to open this up and show you the brush because I've not opened it myself. I don't want it to um, dry out. So also from the American Glossy Box, I got the NYC Beautifying um, Blushable Cream Stick. And this is in the shade um, 002 Never Sleep in Pink. It just looks like this. I've not had a chance to try this out, so again, I can't comment on this. Whilst on the topic of cream blushes, Benefit have launched a new blusher called Margerette. Um, depending on when I put this video up, it might be a new launch or it might be like old, old news now, but um, it basically looks like this. It only comes in one shade. It's a cream to powder formula. Um, if you want to know a bit more about this in a tutorial with this, then please do let me know. Again, from one of my beauty boxes, I got the um, Bella Pierre Cosmetics lipstick. And this is in the shade Ruby. And this lipstick is, oh my god, phenomenal, absolutely beautiful. I'd probably end up looking at their lipsticks to try some more out. Um, it was worth £20 and the box itself was like 18 I think. So I definitely got my value for money. So when I was looking at the magazines section in Tesco recently, um, I found out that Clinique were doing little offers. So I got two freebies, just bought the magazine twice. The first one is the Clinique High Impact Mascara, which is phenom.com. I absolutely love this. It's like, right at the moment, it's my holy grail mascara. Um, 
and I can definitely see myself repurchasing this. I also got a little one of the Clinique Dra Dramatically Different Moisturising Lotion Plus and I've not had a chance to try it this yet. Mm. So me, me, me Cosmetics sent me some makeup products to try out and to do a look on so I'll keep an eye out for that. Um, but these are what they sent me to do a makeup look with. So the first one is um, an eye inspired pressed eyeshadow trio called Smoky Eyes and it looks like this. And um, they also sent me um, one of their blushes which is very similar packaging to Benefit, has anyone noticed this? And um, when you open it, it has the same kind of brush that you get with Benefit as well. Um, and it has this absolutely beautiful glittery shade in it and it's pink and it's stunning and I've not had a chance to try it out yet. But like I said, I'll be doing a tutorial on it, so I'll keep an eye out for that. They also sent me a Boho Balm Cheek and Lip Tint. And this is in the shade Coral Top. So this is what it looks like. As you can tell, it's got coral and a top on the top. Um, so you can use this as a bronzer, as like a dark and bright lip colour. Um, it's whatever you want to use. I've not tried it out yet, so I can't comment on that. Um, they also sent me a lipstick as well in the shade Coral cloak which looks like this i tried this on before i started filming just to see what it was like so i could comment on it and it's absolutely stunning like so stunning i wish i tried this out and got this beginning of summer instead of now whilst it's gone into fall and uh, fall kind of time um because this is absolutely gorgeous so i really want to do like a bronze makeup look using this so they also sent me a nail vanish too this is in the shade 60 viva vivacious vivacious um, it's the long lasting gloss um, nail collection. So um, a few weeks back I went to York with um, Blake's mum just to go shopping and literally as we were about to go and get the train home um, I found, I walked past the superdrug and thought oh I'll have a pop in because I was going around some makeup revolution stuff last night I'll have a see whether they've got it in or not and they did and I like, literally had like a fangirl moment the fact that they had makeup revolution in superdrug which is so bizarre that I was like that with it. I actually blame Katie for getting me like so pumped up about Makeup Revolution. I'll leave her YouTube down below. She has like amazing videos and if you want to look at any Makeup Revolution um, products and hear somebody telling you like the legit truth about them, she is like bomb.com so definitely check her out below and give her a cheeky subscribe and if you do go over tell her that I sent you and um I bet she will get you as hyped up as I am about Makeup Revolution products because she's just like that. She's so inviting on her channel and so welcoming and it just makes you want to buy everything that she raves about. So I did buy a few things from the Revolution. It only came up to £11 which I thought was amazing considering what I got. I got the um, Matte Effect Foundation up to 16 hours in the shade Natural. This was £2 um, for a foundation so I was all over that. Um, and if you don't like a matte effect you could just mix it with some um, Lumi Magique if you really wanted to. As we are going to fall I want to try one of their vamp shades. So I got the um, Lipstick Rebel with Cause and it just looks like this and it isn't half dark. So I got two individual blushes and I got a palette. I got the Makeup Revolution blush in the shade Hot which just looks like this. I'm actually doing a blog post on this if you want to see um, swatches and close-ups and all that kind of jazz. So if that is already up, I will leave it down below. And I've also got the shade Wow. So alongside that, I got the um, Ultra Blush Palette in Sugar and Spice, which just looks like this. Oh, and it's absolutely stunning. It has some marbleized ones on the end, has some kind of light bronzy ones, which reminds me a bit of like Mac Melba, but not as... Um, as peachy, um, as some pinky ones, some bright pink ones, some more mauvey, some more peachy. It's absolutely stunning palette. And I think it was six pounds. So the blushes were a pound each, and that was six pounds, and the lipstick was a pound too. So you cannot go wrong for them prices. So recently, Elf got in touch with me and said to me would I do some foundation Fridays for them, and I was like, yeah, sure. Um, if you've watched me on my YouTube for a long time. Um, you'll see my e.l.f. What, um, best and worst products video, I'll leave that down below and um, the foundation was something that I found was an alright product um, but back then I didn't really know much about foundation or best ways to apply it or anything like that so now I can do a legit actual review on it um, so look out for that, if it's already up I will leave it below and I'll leave a link to the e.l.f. best and worst products video too but the first thing they sent me was the e.l.f. Mineral Face Primer, which just looks like this. And they also sent me the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation, which is an SPF 15 and oil-free, which was in the best part of my video. 
As well as this, they sent me the HD Mattifying Cream Foundation. If you do follow me, you'll know that I already have this. Um, and I've actually done a makeup tutorial on it, so I'll leave the link below for that too. Um, and I actually really, really, really like this product, so I can go straight away and do a foundation Friday on this instead of just doing the first impressions. And then another one that I got is the Personal Blend Foundation SPF 15, in the sh which is like the shade Medium. And the last stuff that I've got um, is my most like, exciting thing that I've got recently and is Wet n Wild products and I know I didn't get sent these. I was actually on holiday in Tenerife with Blake and we went to um, Las Americas there and we basically was going around, we were actually quite lost when we found, like when I found these Wet n Wild products. So I got a load of eyeshadow palettes and three lipsticks. The first one I got is one that a lot of people do have and do rave about and it's the Comfort Zone um, eyeshadow kit and it just looks like this so as you can tell with the wet and wild ones it tells you how to do it so it has a like brow bone, eyelid, crease and definer and I've been absolutely loving these um, I've got one like this, I've got one of these sets and these is the Naked Truth, I haven't actually opened it yet um, so I'm not to try that one out um, I've got the little trio ones as well and this is in the shade um, I'm getting sunburned and then I got another one called Sweet as Candy and the one that I've been using the most, it's the one that's open, um, is Walking on Eggshells. So the three lipsticks that I got, the first one is in Sugar Plum Fairy which everyone says is a, is a dupe of MAC Rebel. Um, I got the shade Think Pink which just looks like this. I've been wanting to try these lipsticks for ages because everyone raves about them and I also got the shade Just Peachy. Like I said, I will have a blog post on these as well, so um, rather subscribe to my blog and you can keep updated with that all. If it's already up, I'll leave a link below too, but I'm like on my game with my YouTube and my blog recently, so make sure you subscribe and you'll see everything. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe and follow my blog too. Give me a big thumbs up if you love haul videos like I do. I love seeing what people have bought. I don't know if I'm just nosy or what, but I love it. And I hope to see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.